Any advice for those tuning in? Yes. Yeah. White men, do your job. <laughs> Include us. Or else we'll just have to kick your ass and move you out of the way. Hi, I'm Stephanie Paderick. I am executive editor of Adweek, and I am here in the Google headquarters in New York for our CMO Move Summit. And I'm being joined by Bozma St. John. She is the chief marketing officer of Endeavor. Bozma, thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. I'm very glad to be here. Yeah, so tell me, I want to know what you're excited about. Well, it's not hard to get me excited about most things. I know. <laughs> But right now, in this very moment, I'm, I'm really excited about seeing diversity in pop culture. You know, I think we're just off of the Super Bowl where Shakira and J-Lo had a phenomenal performance, and I don't think anyone could come off of that performance and not appreciate the contributions of Latinx people in the United States of America, and I'm just really, really excited about that. I'm excited yeah. about the current reigning Miss Universe. You know, who is a part of the Endeavor family and Miss USA and Miss Teen USA, who are all black women. It's just, it's an incredible moment in time in pop culture. Now. Where were you watching the game and how did you feel when you were watching the halftime show in particular? I was in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> and so I could feel it. Yeah. You, know, you, could, you, could, you could feel it in the ground. You know, it was like, it was, yeah. it was very earthy. I felt really powerful in that moment to see these two beautiful women who were singing from their very depths you know, and celebration of culture and their femininity. And I just thought it was a beautiful, powerful thing. What is something that keeps you up at night? I worry about our future for girls and women. Yeah. All of the work that I and so many other C-suite women are putting in to pave roads that they actually come to fruition. And I'm disturbed by the fact that there are less black women in C-suite positions than there were five years ago. And that is really disturbing to me. The trend should be moving the other way, and so why is it not? We constantly are paving these roads, we're breaking these ceilings, we're climbing the rungs, and why is it that we cannot still make any headway? And so that keeps me up at night. I, w I want to solve it. I want yeah. to be a part of the solution. Do you have thoughts on where the solution lies there? Um, yes, it lies with white men. Any advice for those tuning in? Yes. Yeah. White men, do your job. <laughs> Include us. Or else we'll just have to kick your ass and move you out of the way. <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> Love it. Is there an innovation coming down the pike that you mm. think has the potential to really change our industry? Obviously, tech is such a big, huge space. You know, I, I love questions about predictions because I feel like they're almost misleading. You know, if we can see into the future, if we can talk about what is coming that is going to change us, then we actually won't be open to the thing that we actually weren't paying attention to that's actually going to move us. You know, and so just being open to all the iterations within our culture, within tech, within our industry, that could blow the door open is actually the thing to do. Mm -hmm. It's not really trying to predict what that thing is and watching that thing grow or nurturing that thing, but like, let's just be more open. Let's not shut down pathways that open up thinking that they're too nuanced or too small. I like that idea, not yeah. trying to place a bet, but being open to Correct. all the potential yeah. things. We, don't, we have no idea where the next idea is yeah. coming from. You don't always see it coming. You don't see it coming at all. It could come from behind you. Is there some <laughs> tech that today, uh, kind of bringing yeah. it to today, yeah. is changing the way you do your job? Well, I think the evolving way that we consume media mm -hmm. is always interesting to me. I mean, now at Endeavor, of course, there are so many platforms with which you know we bring content to the world and to our audiences, and so the way that people are consuming it is really interesting to me. You know, really understanding how people want to consume. You know, we used to think it was just all on mobile, that, that's where we were moving to. Um, but obviously, it's not just that, because people are using their Apple TVs, they're using different forms of entertainment, you know, to get their, uh, to get their content. And so, again, I think in looking at the entertainment industry, trying to understand where that innovation is gonna come from, how people are going to consume their media, is probably the thing I'm most interested in right now. I'm curious to know what's a piece of advice that you've gotten in your life that has really stuck with you? <laughs> I've gotten a lot of advice yeah. <laughs> over the years. Most of it I didn't take. <laughs> Is that the advice? Don't, don't take yeah. the advice? <laughs> don't take the advice. Do your own thing. Don't take the advice. Just do whatever feels best and natural to you because no one else has been on your journey. No one else knows where you're going. No one else can actually chart the path for you. And besides, no one else's journey is yours. So how would they know how to take you to where you need to go? Yeah. Okay, one last question, bonus okay. question. Where do you get the confidence? Lots of practice. Yeah. I've won a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that helps. 
getting some wins under your belt. Correct. Yes. Helps. So, but you gotta also fail in order to win. Yeah. And so, just knowing that, like, when you fail, you will still get up, and that the win is around the corner. Yeah. That's where the confidence comes from. Bose, thank you so much for sharing your pleasure. insights and for being with us today. Thank you. And thank you all for tuning in to Top of Mind.